Dear colleagues, we are facing a very difficult crisis because of the coronavirus. This is no longer a regional issue, it is a global problem calling for a global response. We also know that it will eventually retreat, but we don't know uh, when this will happen. We know this is a shock, uh, which is somewhat unusual as it significantly is different to other previous crises. Why? Because it's affecting both the supply and the demand. On the supply side, it is affecting the supply because labor force won't be able to go to work because of health issues, but at the same time, because of the policies being implemented by countries, it will be impossible for them to do the current activities. This constraint will also create an effect over our economies. It will create a recession, and that will imply a significant demand shock. We at FAO believe that it's time to respond with actions. We need to identify what are the actions that will help to minimize these potential risks. We fully agree with governments that first has to be health, and the measures that are taken in place have to be supported. But we also believe that second will come food. The food value chain needs to be kept alive to be able to have food available for consumers and to minimize the potential risk over undernourishment and, of course, poverty.